Hi guys, it's Miss Brown again. So I'm going to read through the Christianity in Rome reading today. You know, and again, just like yesterday's reading, pause when I get to the questions. That way you can stop and write in your answers. So the first section is called Polytheistic Beginnings. Romans had always worshipped many gods and goddesses, such as Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva. Roman religion had been in decline during the turmoil of the late Roman Republic. It's kind of the chaos around Julius Caesar. Augustus brought back traditional festivals and ceremonies to revive the state religion. Romans believed that observing the gods and practicing proper rituals would lead to peace and prosperity. While the Roman Empire began to expand new territories, they were tolerant, so accepting, of other religions that were similar and different from their own. The next section is called the introduction and persecution of Christianity. At first, the Romans did not mind that the Christians did not worship Roman gods because the Roman Empire was prosperous and there were not many Christians. This soon changed when Emperor Nero began persecuting, treating poorly, Christians in 64 CE. Nero blamed Christians for causing a great fire that burned for more than five days and destroyed a lot of Rome. Within the next 200 years, barbarian warriors attacked the empire. Many Romans suggested that the Roman Empire was experiencing bad times because a growing group of Christians did not worship the Roman gods. Roman emperors became increasingly intolerant, not accepting of Christianity. In 202 CE, Emperor Septimius Severus banned any Roman citizen from converting, changing religions, to Christianity or Judaism. Those who disobeyed the emperor were often tortured by soldiers or forced to fight wild animals at sporting events. So remember, that's what they would do at the Colosseum. Despite the persecutions, Christianity continued to grow. So the first question is factual, so you can find it in that section that I just read. What problems that the Roman Empire experienced were blamed on Christians and Christianity? So looking for something that happened in Rome that they said was because of Christians not worshiping the Roman gods. So I would go ahead and pause to answer that question. So the next section is called acceptance. Emperor Constantine ended the persecution of Christians when he took power in 306 CE. Four years later, Constantine made Christianity legal, so he made it acceptable, throughout the Roman Empire. A legend says that on the eve of a battle, Constantine saw a Christian symbol in the sky with words that translate to, By this sign you shall conquer. Constantine never went so far as to establish Christianity as the official religion of the empire, but he did legalize the religion and encouraged its growth. While Constantine supported the Christian church, he did continue to worship Roman gods. In 337 CE, Constantine was dying. Only then did he call for a bishop so that he could be baptized into the Christian church. Right, So on his deathbed, he converts to Christianity from the Roman religion. 50 years after Constantine's death, Christianity became the official religion of the Roman Empire. So number two is conceptual. You're going to be looking for the three stages that the attitude toward Christianity goes through, right? So how did the attitude change towards Christianity during the time of the Roman Empire? So think about at first, you know, with Nero, how did they treat the Christians? Then with Constantine, how did he change it? And then after Constantine's death, how did it change again? Right, the attitude or how did they treated the Christians? So I would pause and answer that question. Okay, the last section is called the spread of Christianity. The Christian message had much to offer the Roman world. The Roman state-based religion was impersonal and existed for the good of Rome. Right, so they're saying the Roman gods weren't really connecting with the people. Christianity proved attractive to all social classes, but especially to the poor and powerless. Eternal life was promised to all. Right, So rich, poor, slaves, men, women, everybody was promised the idea of a heaven. Christianity gave meaning and purpose to life. Also, it filled a human need to belong. 
Christians formed close communities bound to one another that was not provided by a large empire. You know, so think about getting together in their churches, right? You know, some of you might go to some sort of temple where you have a community. That's what they were looking for. Christianity continued to spread through parts of Europe, the Middle East, and Northern Africa, right? So throughout the Roman Empire. So number three is factual. So why did Christianity attract many followers, right? So looking at that section we just read, why, you know, did the poor, the powerless, why did these people like the new religion. And then number four, right underneath it, is debatable. So it's basically, do you think Rome could have been both polytheistic, so kept their Roman gods, and Christian? You know, could the empire have had both religions coexisting? Why or why not? So I would pause to answer those two questions. Underneath that, you do have a map that is called the spread of Christianity at 325 AD, which remember is the same as CE. The map is just a little older. So you're gonna examine the map and there are three questions underneath it, right? So what are two to three of the major Christian cities? Um, you know, so if you use the yellow on the map, anything that's highlighted yellow could be a major Christian city. So that is a factual question. Um, the second one is conceptual. Why do you think Christianity spread to the regions it did? You know, so think about why would it go to these places? Think about where the Roman Empire was. And then the third one uh, lists the three continents that Christianity spread to during the Roman Empire. You know, and these are those three continents that we always talk about. Okay, so I would pause and answer that. Right underneath the map, you have a section, a table called Make Predictions. Um, so it's conceptual. Try to get two to three predictions. What do you think is going to happen to Christianity moving forward? You know, do you think it will stay the official religion of the empire? Uh, will it go through other persecutions? Will it spread to more areas? You know, what do you think is going to happen? Once you've done your predictions, the last part is to go to your daily review sheet. Um, the exit ticket for today, how did the view of Christianity in the Roman Empire change over time? That is really close to the second question you answered in the reading, right? How did the attitudes change over time? So you could use that answer to help you. Uh, vocab words, you know, look on your list. You should see some pretty obvious ones for today. And then a summary of what you learned, you know, so what did you learn new about Christianity in the Roman Empire? Okay, and there's uh, no homework for social studies tonight. Bye, guys.